It's time! It's time! It's time! It's time! It's time! The U2s is available now! Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. Five, four, thump. I'm a hump on a bump, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. I apologize for coming in so abruptly, but I mean, come on, look at this thing. And if you guys want to pick up one for yourself, I will have it linked in the description, or you guys can go over to youtubes.com right now to pick one up. And I do want to let you guys know that this is a limited edition plush, so U2's is never making any more of them once they sell out. And I know some of you guys were around for the figure last year, and that sold out in just over two hours, so if you want to get one of these, you better be quick. Also, just thought about this, it's Top Pops holding Top Pops holding Top Pops, it's Top Popception! And again, if you want to pick up one for yourself, it is available now at U2's.com. And I think you guys can tell we have now made it to the mall, so let's go into GameStop and find out what they got in today. Okay, everybody, this is what the section is looking like, and I am excited that I came today. First thing I noticed was the Pokemon section. They have Lucario, which I do already have, but then to the left, they got in the Sylveon, and I needed that one. And so it is exciting that I'm able to pick up this one, because this is now, I believe, the completed new Common Wave? Yeah. Looks like it. And it looks like down at the bottom here, they still have a couple of the Squid Game figures left and Space Jam, then the Simpsons next to them. And what's the one that I want to show you guys? Aha, here it is right here, guys. The Bounty Hunter Collection, Darth Vader. If you guys saw my video the other day, I was gonna pick it up, but then I remembered that I had a pre-order here at this location, so I didn't grab it. And I guess it came in like two days later, so perfect. And I think that's about it for the new stuff. So I'll just do a slow pan so that way you guys can check out the entire section because there's a lot going on here. Oh, and this is funny, guys. I've never actually looked to the left over here. They've got a lot of the Funko games. And this one here is the Something Wild. They've got the Dr. Seuss one, as well as Infinity Saga, and then Star Wars. Kind of cool. Okay, guys, so I got my stuff. And before we get out of here, I wanted to check the pre-orders really quickly. And it looks like there is nothing new, so let's keep going. All right, everyone, so we are now back from GameStop. And I ended up picking three different things. And I do want to let you guys know that one of these is completely out of season. But this is when they got it in, and I wanted to complete the set. So I got it today. It is the Santa Phyllis from The Office. And don't get me wrong, it's a really cool figure, but for like the beginning of spring, it would have been nice to have it in like December. And I totally remember this episode when Phyllis wanted to be Santa, but then Michael said there couldn't be a female Santa and he had dressed up. It was a whole debacle, like pretty much every episode. And I'm hoping that Funko continues this trend of making exclusive characters that are kind of obscure. Like this is literally one Christmas episode and then that's it. Either this or they make other characters that we haven't seen yet. Some of them being like Robert California could be a good one. And then the next one that I got you guys definitely saw because it was also at the back of the store and it is the Pokemon Sylveon. And the other day we were talking about this one and how a lot of people thought that it would look better with blue eyes, but now that I'm seeing it in person, it doesn't actually look that bad. And also, I believe that this is the first ever fairy type Pokemon and you can see the logo on the side there. That is definitely the first box with it. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box with the two other characters, there they are. And so now I have the entire new set. I'm just waiting for like, I believe it's wave 10 to release, which would be Lapras, Piplup, and Leafeon. And I'm hoping that they do release soon because I love getting the new Pokemon ones because you gotta catch them all. And now I do want to take Sylveon out of the box because it seems like there is a lot of small parts going on and I want to see how they did it. Oh, okay. So this was really smart on Funko's part. They connected them, but then they also like didn't connect them at the same time because Sylveon, if you guys don't know, has like really long, almost like wispy things that almost look like string. And it would have been really hard to do, but the way they did it where it like connects around the ear was actually pretty smart. Because it looks like it would go all the way around the character, but then the way they did it, they kind of like connected it in weird spots to still make it look like it does, but it doesn't. I like it. And where they connected, it wasn't too obnoxious either. They like put it behind things so it wasn't so obvious, like the bow as well as their ear. And I think so far, out of all of the different evolutions that have been translated into Funko Pops, besides the black eyes, and even those don't look that bad, I think this one here might be one of my favorites. Because I'm looking at the other ones down here, and there is, of course, like Vaporeon, who is, of course, my favorite evolution. And then we also have, like, Jolteon, which looks okay, and Flareon's all right. But this one here has a lot of great detail. And now, everybody, let's get on to the next figure that I picked up, part of the Bounty Hunters collection, Darth Vader. And I was actually so pumped that they had this one today because it was the last one I needed to finish off the collection. And taking a look at the back of the box, it is going to look really good when I connect them together. And you know what? Let's do it now. 
You know, I said that like it was a spur of the moment thing, but I actually had all of them ready and it took me a while to find them, but I got them. All right, everybody, so I've got them all out of their boxes, but before I show you them together, I wanted to mention something about the prices because this is kind of crazy. So the first one we've got here is the Pop Deluxe Bounty Hunter Zuckus, which is $39.99 or $35.99 if you have your edge card, which is a normal price for one here in Canada. But then as I was taking them out of the boxes, I noticed on the Dengar, which I got a little bit later, it was $44.99 or $40.49 if I have my edge card. Card. So $5 more expensive just a couple months later. And then this is where it gets really crazy because I opened up my Darth Vader one today and I looked on the bottom and the price for it was $49.99 or $44.99 if you have an edge card. So from the release of Boba Fett at the very beginning to this one here, it raised $10. What? And I do understand that these released almost over the course of a year, but still within a year, Funko Pop Deluxe is raising $10. That's a little much. But I digress. And let's get into building these bounty hunters. And I guess we'll start with Darth Vader because he is one of the ends and we did just get him today. And then the next thing that we've got here is like a little bit of a front notch. So I'm guessing this would be Bosk because he does have that. And yeah, there they go. Oh no, wait, no, hold on. They don't connect properly. Ah, it's Dengar. I got that wrong. Because it looks like the Dengar has it halfway down. Yeah. There we go. That fits nicely. And I didn't even notice. I have to look at the back as well as the front. So next up here would be IG-88, who goes just like that. And now IG-88 just has a straight shot here. And it looks like that would be the Boba Fett, which I'm actually really pumped upon here because he was the first one that I got almost a year ago, like I mentioned earlier. And so far, these four are looking really, really great all together. And after that, it would be a front notch as well as like a middle one, which I believe is Bosk. Yes, it is. And then after that, we only have two left. So the next one would be Four Loam, which I really enjoy because they made him metallic. And then here we go, guys, right here, the Zuckus at the end. And there's all of them. They look pretty great. Bouncing hunters. We don't need that scum. Yes, sir. And I am so glad that I kept up with this set because seeing them all together connected like this, it really does look nice. And they all bobble pretty well too, minus Zuckus, because he does have these tubes that kind of like connect from his face to his chest, so it's understandable. And since we've got them all out, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite, because for me, it's probably going to be either Bosk or Forlone. Those two look really great especially because we haven't got an updated sculpt for them in a long time. So they really do look nice and like that newer Funko style. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And before we get out of here, don't forget about the YouTube's plush because this video is probably about 10 minutes, so it could even be sold out by now. And again, if you don't know where to pick up one of these, you can go over to youtubes.com. I will have it linked in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with. And she calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lace.